Yeah. Broken ways, niggas know that we stand up. Try to get paid without cops trying to jam us. Alright, Kings. Alright, Kings. Before we actually start the process of making y'all look good, so first thing I like to do before I start working on my beard is assessing my beard. What are my goals with my beard? What are my weaknesses with my beard? How can I balance everything out in order to make my beard the best it could look? You feel me? You got to be honest with yourself, to be honest. You know, you got to know if you could grow a beard. You got to know if you have the patience. You got to know how you could style it. And you got to be realistic about how you could honestly fix up your beard. If you don't have a beard, then you're not going to be able to line anything up with nothing, you know? So be realistic and then for everyone else who does really have some type of beard just follow along and try to you know try to adjust different steps try to do different things to cater to your beard before we start that there are some things that y'all are gonna have to need y'all gonna have to need these y'all the first thing i'm gonna tell you guys is this is actually an optional 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 item that you're gonna need you feel me if you want to have this definitely go out and buy it this is maybelline uh, waterproof gel pencil I like to get white the reason why I like to get this is because when I was first starting off with fixing my own beard and lining myself up I would always have the problem and I know y'all niggas have this problem too all of us have it we would always end up just pushing our shit all the way down all the way down so we just have to clip the whole thing because we fucked it up so bad you feel me so with this <laughs> my bad with this you actually like just line yourself up I would like to start here and then work my way here and just line it up and make it symmetrical to the other side. Line yourself up, anything above that line, you shave, anything below that line, you don't shave. You feel me? So this is a pretty, 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 pretty handy tool that you should maybe consider having if you have trouble lining your beard up, if you go too low, if they're not even, things like that. Our next item is actually going to be a comb. The reason why you want to have a comb is so you could take out all the knots out of your hair, you feel me? Next item that you're going to want to have are a pair of clippers. Doesn't matter what kind of clippers they are, honestly. I have magic clip walls. These are actually really dope. And along with a pair of trimmers, I have my wall detailers right here. These are ported. Don't worry about your clippers not being the sharpest or your trimmers not being the sharpest in the shed, you feel me? Because at the end of the day, you're going to come back at it. You're going to come back at that shape of with a razor. With the razor, you're going to need a razor, you feel me? And if you don't have this specific razor, go out and buy yourself one of these. This is just a regular razor handle. The ones that you see in the pharmacy, my girl got me this. But she got me this specifically because the back has one single blade. So it'll be easier to line yourself up. So now that I showed you guys all the tools you guys are going to need, we're getting fucking ready to make y'all look like kings, you feel me? I'm looking crazy. I don't care that I'm looking crazy, but y'all about to look good with me, all right? Hobby fucking clip. So first thing I do is I always start with my mustache first. When you start with your mustache, you just want to go around the natural alignment of your mouth. I'm going to make my first line here, my second line here, and then I'm going to connect it all around. I'll show you guys in a bit. Another thing is when you go in, you don't want to push it too far in either. You hear? Cool. Lined up the top of the mustache. Now we don't have any problems with any hairs going over the top of my lip. You feel me? Going past my lip. So that's the first problem a lot of guys have as well. Uh, now we're gonna start lining up the top. Like I said, look at your goals, look at what you want to do. For me specifically, I don't want my mustache to be too thin. So I'm literally just gonna line up the top and keep the same width all around. The way I like to do that, for me personally, I just like do this. That's all I do. I just look at all the extra little hairs that I don't need and I make one solid line straight down like that. So it goes like that always make sure to keep combing your hair as well
who lined up the top got a got rid of any extra hairs that y'all don't need and mind you if you guys don't get it perfect with the trimmers this is just so you can start creating your shape and then once you hit it with the razor everything is just going to come out super crispy and you can start lining everything up even better you know so now that we actually got the mustache part the bottom and the top we're going to work our way towards the middle as well for the middle some people like to have it natural that is totally your call y'all can do whatever y'all want based on your beard but for me i really don't have that much hair over here so the best thing for me to do is just take away the extra little hairs that are there and just shape everything up what i like to do is i like to make this part straight i want it to go straight down and i don't want it to push it too back far and then over here for the middle part i just kind of curve it with the razor blade and for my soul patch you could go a different little ways about doing this you can make it into a triangle you can make it into like a semicircle or you can take it off all together i'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all <laughs> i was sweating my nuts off in that room I'm not gonna lie to y'all y'all see that little beam of sweat right there but looking at this just tap and go take your time use both hands if your hands are steady just tap and go and be careful try to not push that shit too far in Right here, I'm just doing that soul patch, and I'm just creating that V shape tap and go, y'all. Cool. So now, like I said, I cleaned the top of the mustache, the bottom of the mustache, and the inside of the mustache as well, or the inside of my beard as well. Our next step right here, we're gonna wanna grab our clippers. We wanna grab our clippers. Uh, I got my number two guard right here. That's only because I'm going to bring it down like this. You feel me? I'm going to want to bring it down like this. I don't want to bring it up like this when I start trimming my beard. The reason I don't want to do that is because I'm going to take off too much this way. So I'm just going to bring it down like this to make everything even. I'm going to start open and then I'm going to work my way to close. And I, I still don't feel comfortable with that length. I'm just going to lower my guard. Cool. And when you do this, you want to go in and out. You don't want to push it in because you still want to have some type of length over here. The base of your beard is right here. This is what keeps your beard with some type of shape. So you just want to go in and out like this. And all my hair also just kind of grows out this way as well. So you just want to follow that natural direction it wants to go. Alright guys, so I feel happy with this length all around. It's going to look so much better once I shape everything up. I promise y'all, but this is just to make everything even. You don't have to go too crazy. You just go to the desired length that you want to go to. And if you want to take even more than what you did, do it this. You don't want any of this shit, then just go ahead and just run the whole thing. You don't want this base right here. Cool. So like I said, now that we got our desired length all around, my next step is starting the shape up down here. That's all it is. I like to start my shape up from over here and then work my way into the middle. Same thing with the other side. Start from right around maybe here and then work my way down here. It honestly took me a while to get this part somewhat right. But the best advice I can give y'all is to try to make that bottom part of your beard as even as you can. Mind you, the front part is longer than the back, so the front part is going to have longer hair. Y'all saw how simple that was? I literally started from up here and just worked my way down. All it was, you want to have less hair here and a little bit more up here. So I'm just going to do the same thing to the other side, work around the same place I did on this side, and look constantly keep looking at the mirror trying to make sure that it's all even cool so this side same thing same exact thing straight down started up here and then made a straight diagonal line down into my beard anything below that we're gonna just take off so mind you I just did the sides right but I didn't do the middle part so I'm just gonna keep working on the sides, take off all this, and I'll show you the middle part as well. It's got so much hair, goddamn. <laughs> Kings, this is what I meant by making the bottom part of your beard even. You don't want one side of the beard longer than the other, but you do want the front of your beard longer than the back. 
This is like sculpting, y'all. Y'all are artists. We're all lined up over here. We're all lined up over here. And don't worry about all this shit over here in the bottom. Because we're still going to take care of that. So now our next step is you're going to want to line this up. Just turn your head all the way. Lean back a little bit and try to make that straight line. You feel me? Y'all are going to constantly hear me saying this. Tap and go, y'all. Tap and go. Keep it pushing forward. And y'all going to push through this shit. You heard? Straight. You feel me? That's what you want to do. That's how I like my beer personally. I just want it to go straight. Remember, guys, if you have shaky hands like I do, use yourself as a balancing point. Cool. I think we're set. And honestly, my beard is already looking way better than it did before. No cap. <laughs> but as I have my trimmers right now, fuck it. Let's do our eyebrows too. Uh, when you do your eyebrows, you want to make sure you don't push the middle part too far back either. That's going to ruin the whole cut. No matter how far your cut is, no matter how great your beard looks, it's going to mess everything up. It's going to look off. Super off, everyone's going to tell. Let's try to line it up like with the bridge of your nose, kind of like... Straight up and then straight up. You feel me? Just don't go past that. Don't go past that. And I'll show you guys right now. Cool. And now for the top of our eyebrows, same thing. You just want to follow the natural silhouette of the eyebrows. Grooming yourself up, guys. It's all about the angles. Just watch how I keep adjusting my angle when I'm cutting my hair, how I keep turning my head, how I keep turning my wrist, how I keep moving my arms. Find your sweet spot and then just do it, y'all. And I think our eyebrows are looking pretty good, too. But I did have a little slit here. Honestly, I think I might just add it in, too. There it is. And then with the razor, I'll just line it up even better. Most of how you fix up your beard, it's that simple, it's that quick to be honest. And if you see any extra flyaways, you just go ahead and take care of that. Like right here, I have a fucking piece of mustache just sticking out and I'm going to take care of that as well. Another thing that a lot of guys forget is you have a lot of hair here sometimes, right? Push all that in, just push it all in, and you see all the extra little hairs you're gonna have, just trace it out with your trimmers as well. So then that way, let's say it does move in, it won't get in your face anymore. It's that simple. Same thing with the other side. Now it really won't get in my face, and then when I line everything up, year two, we're almost done. Right now, I'm actually just going to add a little bit of shaving cream over here, over here, over here, over here as well, and the bottom as well. So this is the shaving cream I use at the crib. To be honest, this is a little bit thick. It dries out. <laughs> it dries out a lot. What you want to use is some clear gel. I'll leave the link in the description. I wouldn't recommend this, but I'm only using this because this is the only thing I have at the moment. Now we can start just shaving up the bottom part. When you start doing this bottom part, always make sure to pull away from where you're cutting. Whether it be up like this or whether it be down like that, just always pull away. And just be careful because the neck part is super, 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 super vulnerable and you can always cut yourself super easily. Like for this part right over here, if I were to cut straight down, I would definitely cut myself just because it's not even. So I pull the skin to a more even part of my neck and then I just start from there. Whether it be this way or this way, as long as it's even and I'm not cutting myself. See how I'm just actively pulling on that so I don't cut myself? So when I start here, I personally like to start from the beginning of my mouth over here. I stop at about right over here and then this part is where I start curving. If you bring this line too far back, you're not going to be able to curve it as much. It's just going to have to come out into a straight line unless that's what you want. I like to put my cheek out. And 
Make sure to pull the skin. Good money. Other side now. Kings. Pay attention to how I'm shaping up this part of my beard. You see how I'm just sticking my tongue out to make the surface way, way, way more even so I don't cut myself? Peep that shit. Y'all see that? Same thing for the gold, for the soul patch of my thing. You just want to stick out your tongue and make the surface way more even. If you have to keep stretching that skin, keep doing that. You see all the angles I'm going at? Don't be afraid to experiment. Go at a comfortable angle that you want. Same thing for the mustache. I'm just lining everything up the same shape I did with my trimmers. Kind of like I did with like a draft, you feel me? That's all I'm doing and pulling away from where I am cutting. Keep in mind, when you're doing your eyebrows as well, just follow what you did with the trimmers. Don't push anything too far in or you're going to look like a fucking weirdo. Or let's say you were too scared to even attempt to try to touch this part of your beard first, right? With the razor. Remember what I said in the beginning of the video? Just grab one of these little things. So you could literally do it at the crib and I'm actually about to show y'all right now how simple it is to do it. What you want to do is establish your first mark where you want to start your beard. So let's say I wanted to start it right around here, right? So that's where I'm going to establish my first line. And then your second line is what you're going to establish is your end point. So my end point will probably be right around here or so. Right? And then you just connect the two. But honestly, I would just probably make it curve down a little bit. Yo, the whole thing just fell off. <laughs> <laughs> but that is basically what you do you just go and you make that line just like that you feel me and then remember how i told you guys about that razor with the one blade in the back same thing you guys could have just done this anything below this white line you leave please leave it you do not want to touch anything below that because you're just going to keep pushing your shit down Anything above it, you just take the fuck off. I'm telling y'all, it's that simple. All right, guys, that was the end of the video. Hopefully, y'all didn't fuck your own shit up. Hopefully, I helped y'all out and you guys learned something from this. Hopefully, you took something from this as well. Ladies, if your man's is scared of doing their own beers, y'all could do that for them as well. You saw the whole steps. It's that simple, y'all. Practice is perfect. Don't get discouraged. Keep going at it. Even if you fuck up the first time, you just keep going at that shit, you heard? You just keep going at that shit. You're gonna get there. Don't be discouraged, all right? My name is Hobby Clips. Comment, subscribe. Let me know if you want any specific videos within the next two videos or so. I'm probably going to put out a video where I'm showing y'all how to cut your own hair in the simplest steps I could ever give y'all. I promise y'all, get your shorties to do it for y'all. Do it yourselves. Do it on your boys. Help each other out, all right? My name is Hoppy Clips. I'm going to catch y'all a little bit later, all right? Later. Collected rings like I'm Sonic